Hey, orange one here. So we are going to get rid of our fungal infection. Um, I've got a leech corpse here, and it's going to be good. So what we're going to do here is... Um, hold on. Let's get a little fi fire going. I don't think I need to do anything with it right now, but we're going to do some little chemistry. I've been going deep diving, and we're going to experiment with that a little bit. Before we do that, though, um, what I want to do is show you guys our books because we've got this right here and this book i think i've sh I've shown this off in my other playthroughs so it's basically the cure-all book you can usually buy it in kayakuya but i found it deep diving and i've found multiple copies of it i don't know multiple dimensions kind of stuff anyways it tells you about all the diseases in the game kind of like what they do and how to treat them so this is what I need to do. So if you look there, there's a couple things you want to... It's it's in general the same thing. There's an antifungal cream, which always is a gel. So you need to use a desalination pellet on some slime. And then some random liquid. And in this case, it's asphalt, which is not that bad. And then I also need a raw leech corpse, which I have right here. So if I get that... I, I think I need to also, let's mix those two things together. So I need to, I think I have, I've got some gel right there. I'll just take one of those. And then I'll take some of um, that as well. Okay, so we've got our Atari gel there. And so we're going to, uh, let's see, eat this guy. And then we're going to apply that. Um, to Fickle Gill. Yeah. Okay, so now we no longer have our feet all covered in that stuff. Now I think that there's some, yeah, okay, cool. There's some chain boots there. And they're, they're not ideal, but it's better than nothing. And I think I should actually be able to mod them as well. And it will make it nearly as good as as good protection as the other stuff was. Uh, where is it? Chain boots I could make feathered. That's it. I can't I can't do anything else them. Okay, whatever. I will I will find some other purpose for it. Don't worry. Man, I have so much stuff. I've got so much junk. Why don't we just take um. couple of those apart just for now I know that I've also got scrap that I need to probably get rid of yeah there's like the scrap here cool. okay so we got we got um, an okay situation here right things are going pretty good for us I would I would dare say so what we could also try and do here is I think I have some sphinx salts and I think I've got plenty of them where I don't mind using one of them right now um, and I think from what I've, I've read online that it's basically like a true conversion of um, yeah I've got seven of them I can use this it lets you um, appear into the future so it gives you like the precognition skill Okay, so I've got precog right now. So I am going to try and cook with my precog. See if we can get lucky with this. Um I'm a little bit nervous to mess with the beguiling, honestly. Let's try and go with something that's gonna be kind of different. And this could like really boost my health up really high as well. Is the thing. Corrosive breath. <laughs> I mean that's kind of interesting. Okay. <laughs> that's not that great. It to full 15% of the time. I don't know exactly how that works, but we can try it. 
And that sounds like a decent one. Gas generation. Okay, let's let's see what this does. Um hmm. uh, is that it? Q. Okay, I can like corrode things. Ooh. I kinda like that. No. I like that. That's actually gonna be really useful. Um there, friend, what are you doing? Why are you over here? Can I tell you to move away from there for some I don't know why you're you're standing there. I'm over here. Get away from that. Yeah, you're fine. Cool. Okay, so we got a really good thing there. And what we can do now is, let's see, you're actually okay, you're just covered in blood. <laughs> My robot friend that's covered in blood and has tons of mutations and stuff. So yeah, let's have a, let's see, let's have a little gander into your, your brain. Um, you also have some stuff that I've been picking up here. A ton of stuff, actually. Um, yeah, just like that. Can I not equip that? Oh, I can put that on my chassis. Where's that? What else was there? Yeah, let's put that on the cha chassis. That's good. Um... I also picked this up, which, you know, I want to, I don't know if I can install that, but maybe if I could put it in the bear, I don't know. I don't think I can, but I've got a ton of, of loot here, essentially, that, think that they're carrying for us. Um, so we can, we could uh, mutate. Um, I think I want to try and cook with our precog skill first, if I'm doing precogging. Okay, we're precogging. That's good. Um, and let's try and cook. Maybe not that. Let's just do a can and have it all and see what we get. No, I don't want that. Are you kidding me? It's a waste. <laughs> Definitely not going to go with that. It's ridiculous. I mean, I could pick up a lot more stuff with this guy. Look, they've got like 500 carrying capacity and they only have like 300 of it used or something like that. It's kind of crazy if you think about that. Okay, let's go ahead and end the domination for now. Um, we do not have the best shoes on right now, so I'm a little bit nervous about going anywhere. You know? So let's um, let's just wait till we can maybe precog again. I think it's probably about time, right, that we can precog again. No, it's not. Okay, well, we're not gonna maybe cook, but like you could do this theoretically and just keep on doing that until you get the result that you like. <laughs> not oh, 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 hold on, I did not mean to do that long. Um, so, yeah, let's try this, let's save, and let's see, oh, see what that is, did you see that on the screen, I think that means that's a chrome pyramid, I'm pretty sure that's, that means that's a chrome pyramid, so we don't want to be going down there, yeah, okay, good to know. We're going to try and break the sandstone, because this thing is super strong. Um, no, we're not going to return to the star of our vision, we're just going to hang back. How long? 250 then. I don't like how it starts with the 10. Okay. Whatever. That's okay. We can try and check this out. I'm going to just stand here for a little bit and see if we detect any anything bizarre. Any 
Any indication of any chrome pyramids? Okay. Um, did it get pulsed? I don't think it did. I I got pulsed, but it didn't. Great. Thanks, friend. <laughs> Can I take it out? I can still force an attack. Yeah, bear friend, I think you need to have that disabled. If I talk to you, I think I can um, say, hey. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Can I also direct you to not use aggressive stance? I want you to use defensive. I think that that's probably better for us in the long run. Oh, got downstairs there. Oh, we got engraved fullerite sword. What could that be engraved with? That's that's a not a half bad find. I am a little bit nervous, but I think that we're okay. I don't think that there's a chrome pyramid that we're, we're really... Because like, you get like the ripple effect around them, don't you? Oh, here's here's one, one guy. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Ah. <laughs> um... Yeah. Take that. Okay, we got another one there. Uh, um, can I charge him? There we go. Just want to make sure no one gets, you know, like super messed up. <laughs> A corrosive um, acid up there. Is eating away at the the level, which is a little scary because that could open us up to scary enemies, potentially. Probably shouldn't be going right into the center of the level like that. Not in a roguelike. You want to hug the corners, basically, in roguelikes, is what I've heard. This looks like a pretty safe area. So far for us. Yep. I mean, this area could expand though into a quite a large area. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, and look, you guys. They're kind of annoying. But we can honestly, with my skills, like kill them very quickly. I can jump next to you. And dismember. <laughs> oh, what have we got here? Yep. See what I mean? Doesn't doesn't take too much for me to take them all out. I wonder if I could I take the their shell and like cook with it or something. What I really want is some new shoes. We're going shopping for shoes, basically, right now. You know, we could go shopping, actually. That's not the worst idea. We're kind of, like, deep in crazy territory right now. Why don't we go and auto-explore? Auto we'll let the auto-explore go now. We seem to be... I'm pretty sure this place is almost all, yeah, cleared out. Okay, so we have a downstairs here. We're going to, uh, oh, we could possibly cook with you again, but, oh, precog and 14. Okay. Uh, go ahead, precog. Uh, let's boost our toughness, just in case. You never know. You never know. Any indication of anything bizarro?
There's a couple of widgets there. No, I think we're okay. I think we can kill the way droids. And look, as when I'm controlling him, I actually get more experience. Something interesting to note. Oh, there's a glow moth attacking me. That's that's cute. Okay, so we can kill that. Yeah, this looks this looks like a pretty pretty good floor for us. I think I'm gonna stay near here. As you can see, it does help us level up being in control of this guy. Because those guys normally would not get me anything. Oh, was that an, a big explosion? Is that armor down there? Okay, it's. I think it's just a glow moth. I don't think it was a big explosion. Okay. I think I might have overreacted. We can just kill that. Yeah, I think that we're okay. Cool. Um, go get the gang then. And our domination. And now we've got my friends. We're doing good. Um, we could try and give him some other cooking ingredients and see if he can precog up some food. We could just do another attempt at that. Um, why don't we give him something, something else that's kind of crazy? Uh, maybe he could congeal a salve injector and see what he does with that. Oh, what? Hold on. Yeah, let's look at the salve injector and give him one of those. Or maybe. I think he already had one. I want to give him, a, like, maybe a couple of them. Let's drop. Maybe. Three, because I've got 21 of them. It's kind of crazy that I have so many of them. You know? I think we need to honestly wait a little while. So I'm just kind of holding down. The middle, the middle button right now. Okay, um, if I try and take you over 25, that's, that's okay. I can work with that. Oh, where's my fire, though? Hmm. No stairs up. I had a fire around here somewhere. Here, okay. Um, we'll do it here. Let's preserve, yeah, let's preserve one of them. And let's go with that and that. And let's see what happens. <laughs> that was not, not a good, <laughs> not worth it. We can try again. Because honestly, we have the ingredients, so why don't we just try and do it again? It's not gonna get saved as anything, so. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> um, and we'll stop our domination. Demolishing. Oh, I was. I I think I activated the wrong ability there. <laughs> There we go. Okay, yeah, I think that, that that floor down, we could probably go down with the three of us now. I'll just kind of get a feel for it. Oh no, I'm over, overweight. Yeah, I am probably at the point where I really should be going shopping. Uh, with all this loot. <laughs> Just so much stuff. Just way too much stuff, honestly. Can I just um, disassemble something that's kind of heavy? Not the hypertractor, but that's super valuable. And the, the blast cannons, like, oh yeah, I got a blast cannon. I took one off of the, uh, one of the, the leaper dudes. Um, yeah. We got a couple good things here. Can I... Can I get a peek? What have we got here? 
What do we have here? Fluorite plate mail. That's really good armor. I don't know if you can wear this, but I'm going to give it to you in case that you can. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like you can wear the plate armor. I think my friend here already has um, something that's better than this, but I'm still going to give it to him so that he can carry it for us. And maybe I'll I'll give him some other stuff like that that I just don't want to be carrying, just to make my life a little bit easier. Sure. Thank you, friend. Okay. I'm trying to be careful right now. Honestly, we're kind of deep. Oh, we got Fickle Gill on our hands. What? Okay, well, we just lost some of our strength, basically, because of that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get some leech, but it's it's not hard for us to take care of, honestly. You know? What was my... My, uh... Oh, I'm, just, I'm not that overweight. I can just give some stuff to my bear friend here. I like almost birth, you might. <laughs> you know. I mean, will you equip these gauntlets? Will that make you stronger? I kind of want to do that. Just kind of see if that does anything. Um, is there anything else that I could possibly give you that would be good? I think you already have a floating thing. Oh man, these fullerite weapons, there's a lot of them. I don't want to give them the blast cannon, that I think it would be bad, bad news. Hey, I'll give you a couple salve injectors just in case. Yeah, I think that's a good call. And I don't know if you can equip that. Oh no, that actually is helping me right now, just having that in my inventory. Oh, I could probably clone that. You know, I've got the metamorphic gel. That might help me carry even more stuff. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Seems kind of crazy. I think I could do it, and it'd probably be a good move. I don't like being in the center. I've talked about this. I've, I've experienced this before. You want to have an uh, escape route, in case you need to. A Fullerite Longsword. See, this is... I don't know if the defensive stance thing... But that would be a really good thing. Can I... give you this? <laughs> so much loot. This game is just almost too much. Let's just have you take a number of these things. Thank you, friend. Thank you for carrying weight for me. Or are you over encumbered now? Hold on, did I over encumber you? <laughs> I think I over encumbered them. I'm pretty sure. That's what just happened. Why don't we take some of this junk from you? Yeah. Now that's what we consider junk, I know. It's kind of crazy, huh? But that's how the world goes in Caves of Cud when you get to the Deathlands. <laughs> Suddenly the really good melee weapons that you've been like treasuring for like the whole game are like worthless. <laughs> like, eh. It's not like warping time or anything. <laughs> right? That's like basic, basically, it's like, is it warping the basic rules of reality? Okay, that's a pretty good item. <laughs> right? Okay, this looks like, is that what, Glomoth? Okay, yeah, take that Glomoth. What have we got here? A love injector. Hey, and a fool, alright, battle axe. I mean... I think that we've proven that I've gotten already like 
a bazillion dollars in, of loot. I'm just kind of more interested in what else is on here. Oh, engraved fluorite flake armor. This is actually lightweight. Man, that's like really good armor, but we can't carry it. We've got just too much stuff. It's just really a little too much. We got blaze injector. Okay. Yeah, I think that we've basically explored this whole level. Nice. But you gotta be careful at this point, because you can have chrome pyramids. Like, they can really just end your whole playthrough. But you also get, like, crazy good loot sometimes. You know? Alright, uh, let's maybe... Go ahead, get you... Precog. Um, boost your toughness. Let's see what we see. Anything fishy? Something's chirping. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to be able to mess you up pretty bad. Go ahead and first start with a sting. Because that actually is a, a really good skill for us. Honestly, I don't know how or why, but I think it's like gotten leveled up over time. But look, it's like at this level, 4d2 for 8 over 10 rounds. That's like, let's say if you get, you know, only 2 damage, but that's like over that. That's like 20 something damage at a minimum guaranteed if you hit them. Um, I'm going to just flurry you, because you're pretty badly messed up right now. No, I'm not going to do anything too fancy. I'm just going to bonk them. Yeah, I think that we're okay here. I'm just going to wait a little bit and see what else comes our way, maybe. And we can't precog for a while, so I'm a little bit scared. Also, with the night vision, we can see pretty far away. So it's kind of nice exploring with him like this. Okay, that's junk. Like, literally. Okay, whatever. Can't really see anything that way. I wonder if things would be not hostile to me because I'm, I'm this guy. You know? I feel like that might might happen. And I'm not getting any chrome like warpiness on the screen, so I'm I'm feeling like this level we could probably bring the whole crew down too. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Alright, um actually hold on before we do that. Where's, yeah, whatever, we can, I can make my own new campfire here. It's like, essentially like my little yellow brick road, right? Okay, let's try and go for the, the lucky recipe. Hold on, I'm poisoned. <laughs> really? Okay. That's a terrible meal. <laughs> what else does it do? I need to just make sure the effect's not gonna like kill me or anything. Okay. Yeah, it's whatever. It's kind of weird that it poisoned me, though. I don't like that. <laughs> um, see, what do we have here? Oh, I probably shouldn't have picked that up. It's kind of a waste of weight at this point. Seeing how I just dropped like all those folded carbide things, you know? You know what, turret?
guys. I think I got someone else's fickle gill. Like they gave me their fickle gill. I think it was the, my bear friend. Oh, yep, and now I'm giving them more fickle gill. Great. <laughs> See, that's how the the fungus lives forever in this game. You can't escape it. Like cataclysm, kind of. Okay, that looked like a grenade to me. Yeah, okay. Friend, are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Health wise. Uh okay. <laughs> I think that we're we're just around the half an hour mark. I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.